when you have 50 years uh, of history, it takes a lot to call a day historic. But uh, I believe this day certainly will count and go down as a very historic day for our franchise again in anticipation of the 50th anniversary. I know a lot of focus will be on our team. I've had the privilege of knowing James since the start of my career in the OHL. I think we might have actually started, well, he started before me as a player. But uh, James uh, left his playing days and immediately uh, got involved in coaching. And it's really been something to see how he's blossomed into, in my opinion, one of the most uh, respected uh, guys in the game. Bobby Smith uh, had talked to me a number of times over the last year about, about Andre and his situation. And uh, the Auto 67s owe him a great debt of gratitude for not only allowing me to talk to Andre, uh, but to uh, uh, ultimately hire him as our head coach and VP of hockey operations. I think we've got the best one-two combination in junior hockey, and uh, I think we have a lot of exciting times ahead, and I, I think that the Ottawa 67s are a good hand. You know, I look forward to recruiting top players and drafting top players, and obviously we've got a coaching staff in place that's going to be very attractive. This team's got a chance to do something special, and I'm going to do everything in my power to achieve that. Having the chance to just sit and talk with a guy like Brian Kittery about the team and stuff like that, Pat Higgins, working with Boydie, I really feel I'm blessed to, to have that opportunity. Here, I can be with my family, I can be in the top-end organization, and I'll have a chance to work with Boydie and having a, a role as well in the management, being vice president of hockey operation, working with Boydie is something special as well. It's something I'm looking forward to.